happy video day guys so today's video we're gonna be trying out a new eyeshadow palette that's why I don't have my makeup completely finished we're gonna be trying out an eyeshadow palette and we're also gonna be trying out a new lipstick from Colourpop so I'm super excited because I finally got my Colourpop delivery in the mail and I've been waiting for this to get here because I'm really excited about this we're gonna be trying out the it's my pleasure palette from Colourpop and we're also gonna be trying out one of their new velvet blur lipsticks so I am super excited we're gonna go ahead and put this this little guy to the test let's see how good it really is I will tell you guys I think it's so pretty I mean not only does it come in this plastic packaging but look at these colors tell me that's not pretty I really think that it's even prettier in person than it is that on the photos and in the photos I thought it was really nice and in person I think it's even prettier well, let's go ahead and let's start putting this thing on my eyes I'm so excited all right, so what we're gonna do is let's get a little closer so you guys can see my eyes better. As you guys can see, I have my whole makeup on. I actually used for the first time these new Moda brushes. Moda actually sent me over a whole PR package that had all these different brushes in it. And look how cute this brush is. It's like totally, like, doesn't it like go with the vibe? I don't know goes with the vibe. So I used this brush for the first time and I actually have to say it applied the foundation pretty nice. I actually enjoyed it. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this palette. So the first thing I want to show you guys is look at this. Look at this packaging. This is a hard exterior packaging. I love that Colourpop is putting their palettes inside of this hard packaging now. I just think it looks a lot more luxe. A luxe. What's a luxe? It looks a lot more luxe now. So I really like the ColourPop's new packaging. Um, and then in the inside, we get all these beautiful colors. Let me zoom it in so you guys can look at them. So those are all the colors. Look how pretty. Let me move it around so you can get like a better a little glimpse of how beautiful this palette is. This is all the colors. It looks like we've got three mattes in it. It looks like we have a matte that has a little bit of like glitter in it. And the rest of them look like they're like shimmery kind of metallic -y colors. I'm excited to put this on my eyes. I love the mirror. Look at the mirror, guys. You got a nice size mirror. I can totally travel with this. I can totally use this to put my makeup on. So that is really exciting. We're gonna jump into this palette. Let's go ahead and start putting it on my eyes. I wanted to do the video this way so you guys can see me applying it because I think sometimes it's funner for you guys to actually see my expression as I'm trying out the stuff on my eyes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump in with this color here called Pretty Cool. I like that it has like little glitters in it. I don't know. I just think it's cute. So let's go ahead and apply that on the eye. Ooh. Okay, so that is coming off a lot more pink than I thought it was going to. Doesn't it look a little bit more like brownish taupe and it's coming off on the eyes a little bit more pink? Yeah. Okay, so I like this color. I wish it would have been a little bit more true to the color in the pan because even though it looks pretty on the eye, I like this color in the pan a little bit better. I would I wish it would have had a little bit more of a taupe or undertone to it, but it is it is really pretty. What I love about ColourPop's eyeshadows, they blend so good. Now, another thing is all those little glitters are kind of gone. I don't really see the little glitters anymore. Like I like I see them here, but I don't see them here anymore. So the shade is pretty. I just don't know why they didn't just make it a matte because I don't see the glitter anymore. I mean, very seldom, but, huh. Just gonna tell you guys that the little glitter, I mean, you see it, but it's like sparse. You know what I mean? It's not like you get like a bunch of glitter all over your eyes. For people like me who are not really into that much glitter, I don't mind it. I actually think it looks okay. I just think that if you're gonna put a color that has glitter particles in it, there should be like more glitter, there should be like more glitter particles on my eyes. But. I so I definitely do like the color and I do see like I do see the glitter when I go like this. I just expected it to be more. The other thing that's kind of cool too, guys, is not only do I have a code now with um, Sigma brushes that you guys can save 10%, but I also have a code with Moda brushes that you guys can save 10%. I have everything in the description box so you guys can go over there if you want to, but that's pretty cool. All the code is always gonna be Glam Ranch, which I think is awesome. Look how cool. Okay, so let's try it this color here. We're gonna add this color, it's called Sleeper, to the outer edge. That's nice. Okay, not mad at that. Not mad at that at all, that's really pretty. This is blending really easy. So that is good. I love ColourPop's eyeshadows that they blend so nice for being such an inexpensive brand. It really does have a really good blend. That's really, really pretty. I really like that. 
Okay, so I like that. I'm gonna grab this Mr. Sandman with my finger and I'm gonna apply it to the inner corner and to the center. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh, I like Mr. Sandman. And then I'm just gonna like dab it. You see like that? So I can kind of just get like those glitter particles everywhere. That's really pretty. Guys, that's really pretty color. I really like that. I like the way it works with my fin. Apply a little bit with a brush just to see how it packs on. Just towards the inner corner of my eye, just to make it a little bit more popping. But that's really pretty. Ooh, I like this. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to use this color Chiclet. And I'm gonna try to use that as a liner. Let's spray my brush. So I'm spraying a Sigma Wing Liner E06 and I'm gonna try putting this on as a liner. It's gonna be fun. Thought it was gonna work a little easier, but it's not impossible. I just gotta get a little wetter. That's cool. I'm feeling this. Guys, I'm feeling this. Like, I am, ooh. This is a $12 eyeshadow palette, guys. 12 bucks. And it works so good. Like, it does. It really works so good. Tell me that's not cool. That is so cool. So let's work on the lower lash line. What do we want to do? I feel like I want to do a double line. I've been really feeling that lately. After I saw it at the Golden Globes, was it the Golden Globes? Yes, I think it was the Golden Globes. After I saw it in the Golden Globes that they do the double liner, I've been really feeling like I like that look. So I'm going to grab this one right here again to kind of have like the same color as the top. Just bring that lightly underneath the lower lash line. I'm telling you, this color pretty cool. It comes off so pink compared to the color in the pan. It's like crazy okay so now I'm just gonna go back into this color here and I'm gonna do like a second wing on the bottom a little bit why do I always make such complicated looks why can't I just stop hi Christina Guys, this is such a cool palette. I'm feeling it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw on some mascara and then we'll talk. All right guys, so there's the mascara, there are the eyes. What do you guys think? I am really liking this eyeshadow palette, but I really wanna try this lipstick. So this is um, the new ColourPop um, Velvet. These are the Lux lipsticks and I think, didn't I get the blur? I got a velvet blur and the color I got is creme. I don't know, this color looked pretty. I'm hoping it's not, yes, it's peach. I'm so excited. Mmm. Hello, yummy smelling lipstick. Oh my God, that smells delicious. Okay, so let's try this. Oh, it's peach. Yes, yes. It's a little peacher than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, so I'm super excited that it's peach. Don't know how it looks like with this lip. I'm gonna have to add in, let me add in like a browner lip liner. Okay, so I'm just gonna add War Wherever Walnut from Makeup Forever on top. See, this is what I like to do with peach lipsticks, add like a brown lip liner. So it keeps the peach color but it makes it more brown toned. So if I would have done this before, look at her. Now that's a pretty peach. Now we're talking. Now I like it. 
So for the most part, guys, I'm really feeling this look. I really love these eyes. I think the eyes look so pretty. Don't you guys think that this color palette is so good? Like, I think that the pigmentation of these colors were really good. This color worked awesome. This one I used as a liner. Yes, you had to wet it. Yes, I had to dip a few times, but I was able to create this line, which sometimes does not happen when I try to do that. I used this one here. This Mr. Sandman is beautiful. I used it all in the inner and up. And I really think that the colors that I used were really, really good. I have high hopes for this palette. I think that this is going to be a great palette. I feel like ColourPop always kind of like does really good every time I try their palettes. I really, really, really love them. Now the lipstick, I feel like this formula is okay. When I was putting it on, I don't think that it applied as beautifully as I thought it was going to. I love a peach lip. I love a peach lip but I love a peach lip with a little bit of a brown undertone and I usually transform my peach lips to have a little bit of brown undertone so it's a color that I love. So it's not really the color's fault because I feel like anytime you buy a peach lip, they're gonna look peach and I usually like dye it down a little bit. But I think that the Velvet Blur formula, even though it's a really pretty formula, I feel like it's a little bit too, too velvety. Hmm. But I'm gonna have to keep on playing with this lipstick to see how I feel. But around on um, first impression, the first time I put it on, I felt like it was a little bit too velvety. Like almost like it's gonna move around on me a little bit. So I'm not sure if I love that. But this palette. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all of these colors for you guys so you guys can see all the colors that come in this palette. So first one we have here is called Kittenfish. And it looks just like that. Mm, we're gonna have to go over twice. So that one right there is Kittenfish. That is a very pinky tone. I'm not sure how that's gonna look on me. It's kind of like a lilac pink. It's pretty, it's not my favorite tone, but I like it. So then we've got this one here. This is gonna look really cool all over the lid and maybe even on the lower lash line. That one's really pretty. That's Do or Do. <laughs> I thought it was doo doo. I was like, oh my god. Okay, so then we've got pretty cool. So this is the one that I put on all over the lid that has those little kind of shimmers in it, but they kind of like disappear. I think it translates a little bit less of this taupish color on the eyes, and it looks a little bit more pink. I'm okay with it. I think I would have liked it better to have translated more like the swatch than how it looks on the eye, but it's not bad either. I just had in my mind a different color, and it wasn't the color I thought. So let's go into bare minimum. Ooh, that's, I like this one. I like that one. I like that they have like these little sparkle flecks in them, but it's not like too much, but it does have like little sparkles in all of them. So then we have Earth Shine. I think I'm gonna like this one too. This looks like a dual chrome. Ooh, it is, and it's pretty. So this is, has like a peach shift to it. That's really cool. I like that. That's really cool. Okay, so then we have Chiclet. So we've got that really cute purple color. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay, let's clean the fingers. I think we've got three more space in here. We have space. So then we've got Mr. Sandman, which I really, really like. That one's so cool. This one I think is a dual chrome too. Yeah. Can you see that? So then we have Fan Fiction. Which, you know what, honestly, this fan fiction color I could have done without. I wish that they would have put like a brown color in here and I wish that this color right here would have been like a brown. I think it would have been so much better if they would have had like a dark taupey brown color and that would have been this color because this is too similar to these, you know what I mean? It's just too similar. You see like this one is cool, at least this one has a kind of like mauveish purple undertone. So it's kind of very different. So this color is awesome. That is Sleeper. So I'm happy they put Sleeper, but I feel like this one right here, this color right here, Fan Fiction, I could have done without this one. And you know, the rest of them are really nice. I think there was a little bit room for improvement with the color picks, but I do think it's a really pretty palette. So that is the colors. So originally I thought that this palette had a little bit more dimension to it, but I do think you're gonna get a lot of purple. You're gonna get a lot of purple out of this palette. I thought that it was gonna be a little bit more dimensional. I thought that there was a little bit more taupes in here. I thought there was a little bit more brownie looking cool tone undertones, but I feel like it is very purple. Um, you are gonna get a lot of purple looks. <laughs> this is gonna be a purple look palette, but I do really like it. I like this color 
There's a bunch of colors that I do like in here. There is a few colors I would have probably switched out, but for 12 bucks, this thing works like a dream. So if you guys know like the Huda Beauty semi-precious palettes that she came out with that they all have like these kind of like green tones or purple tones, that's kind of like what this reminds me of. So if you guys didn't want to buy the Huda Beauty one, this one is $12 compared to I think the other ones are $25 or $28, I'm not sure. But this one works pretty damn good. I think it performs amazing. Look at the color pigmentation that I got on my eyes. I am very happy. So guys, that is all I've got for you guys on this video. I think it was a pretty decent first impression. I do like both of the products. I need to try that lipstick a little bit longer. That's the only one that I like, but I'm not sure of. I need to apply it a few more times, try it out for full day wear, see how it wears on the lips. Now that it's like dried down a little bit more, I think it looks really nice and I mixed in that liner which helped but I will be trying this one on its own a little bit longer and give you guys like a full update once I do my review follow-ups but that is all I've got for you today's video I hope you guys really enjoyed the video if you did give me your comments leave me your likes and I'll talk to you guys later bye